Wayne project, as many of you know, consists of about 38 miles of 20 inch uh, compressor station and it's feeding the Lee Energy Complex in Wayne County, North Carolina. Uh, Progress Energy is replacing dated coal plants. Uh, at that facility with natural gas fired combustion turbines. Sutton project is a similar project, but it's much larger. It consists of about eight miles of 30 inch pipeline north of Charlotte and about 120 miles of 20 inch that extends from Hamlet all the way down to Wilmington, North Carolina. Both projects are going well. Uh, we're uh, actually in the process as we speak of completing the Wayne project. So we're on target to meet a June 2012 in service date. Uh, the Sutton project uh, will begin construction soon uh, in target uh, June 2013 in service date. One of the things that's really great about these uh, being involved in these projects is they're uh, not only good for the environment, they're good for the community. It provides a significant economic boost in the communities uh, where, the, where the projects reside. We conduct them consistent with our values and it gives us a chance to tell uh, the Piedmont natural gas story. Safety is our number one priority. Our approach is uh, thinking about safety all day long, whether you're on the job or off the job. Well, we have uh, a weekly safety call where employees talk about near misses that happened during the week so others can learn from what's occurred recently. Uh, we did have a uh, safety summit where a, a number of employees came together uh, from all over the company and met in Nashville, Tennessee and we had a full week of uh, nothing but safety. We had uh, speakers that talked of their experiences with safety, had a lot of workshops, a good learning opportunity to uh, focus all of our energy around safety. The safety performance of our company contributes to how the natural gas industry is viewed. We are a safe industry. We uh, need to keep projecting that through every means we can. It is a mindset. Um, it's, uh, it's something, it's behavioral. You gotta practice it uh, all the time. What we're doing here today is employees come through for a free health screening. We do blood pressure, height and weight, and then we do a blood panel where we look at cholesterol, triglycerides, and blood glucose. Um, they receive their results and we go over them with them to identify their health risks. Piedmont's wellness effort started in 2007 and since then we've seen a decrease in the number of risk factors per eligible employee. We've had several success stories in terms of our health screenings. We've had a few employees who have actually, um, through the screening, found out that they were diabetic and have been able to go to their physician and get their diabetes under control. We've also had a couple who, it was kind of that turning point for them where they realized, okay, I, I have two or three red flags on my result sheet, I wanna make a change. And through that, they've used the Empowered Coaching Program and the reimbursement programs and been able to lose a substantial amount of weight and actually reduce their health risks. Piedmont's wellness program is kind of all-encompassing. We try and meet people where they're at in terms of their wellness. So we offer things like fitness reimbursement, weight management reimbursement, tobacco cessation reimbursement. We also offer um, empowered coaching where you can work with a one-on-one -on -one with a health fitness coach to try and work on the behavior changes that you're looking to make. We also offer challenges throughout the year to try and encourage people to make healthy choices. The purpose behind Piedmont offering a wellness program is really to try and help their employees lower their risk factors so that we have a healthy population that can be productive while at work, reduce absenteeism, and hopefully reduce um, workers' comp claims and injuries at the work site. We want you to be healthy here at Piedmont and then also go home and be healthy as well. Today is the first day of our Week of Giving campaign here at, at Piedmont. And what we're doing today is all of our employees here at our Piedmont Town Center, they've had a chance to come in and bring in Toys for Tots. 
The U.S. Marines are actually coming and they'll pick up these toys, take them to Toys for Tots, who will then redistribute those to the families and the children that are going to be receiving these toys over the holidays. The Hospitality House of Charlotte shelters families who come to Charlotte seeking medical care. The volunteers from Piedmont Natural Gas are here to make dinner for our guests and also to do goodie bags that we're going to put in the guest rooms for the holidays. We're really, really excited to have their employees here helping our guests and creating the holiday spirit. We are here collecting clothes and items for Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's Ladder is working with members of our community to give them the skills and the attire and the etiquette in order to go out and interview successfully for jobs. Today we are receiving wonderful donations from Piedmont Natural Gas. They have donated toiletries and cleaning supplies to our transitional housing participants. Piedmont Natural Gas has stepped in and provided wonderful bags for each family that have these supplies in them as kind of a holiday bundle for each family. We provide basic needs for people in crisis. The partnership with Piedmont Natural Gas is as important as ever. We help a lot of people keep their gas on. Piedmont Natural Gas and their Share the Warmth program are very close partners with us. And today, their volunteering is ensuring that warm coats and mittens are gonna be on the arms and legs and the people who are greatly in need. We're out with Piedmont Natural Gas with a food drive from seven to 10, collecting food as people drive through. It's a great, great event. We're going to have our fleet uh, have a number of natural gas vehicles in them, at least a third. I'd like to push it to a half uh, as years go by, where they'll use natural gas primarily as a fuel. That's saving us money, that's cleaning the air, that gives us fuel diversity, so it's a very good thing for our fleet, um, and, and the saving money is good for our customers. We have all those stations that we're building for our fleet, five so far, open to the public, and we have a number of fleets who have vehicles filling there now. AT&T is the, uh, the biggest one, with almost 100 AT&T vans filling at our five different uh, fleet locations right now. Other parties who are filling up our stations include City of Charlotte has refuse trucks filling up uh, there, same thing over in Nashville. We have uh, some postal trucks in Nashville filling up, uh, some other private refuse haulers. We have lots of buses going through. So we're talking to some name brands, uh, big companies that anybody would know right now have to keep that a little confidential. Hopefully we can, uh, that'll come out in the next few months. Uh, oil prices are staying up, but natural gas prices are low and going to stay low. So that's an attraction to fleets just in the economics. Uh, you can fill up at our stations for less than half the cost of gasoline. There are some passenger cars out there that are filling at our stations, uh, a few. Um, that's a market that probably won't be ripe for a few more years. That market will come too, and we'll go head to head with electric and gasoline in those markets, but that'll be a few years. So we're having a lot of things that, that we're working through, uh, but we're learning as we're going, it's getting better, and we're learning to, to try and get ahead of the market. So the Bill and Energy Analysis Tools, or BEAT, which you may hear it called by, went live last October, and essentially it's a suite of energy analysis tools. Essentially, it's a energy savings tool that uh, will tell people and customers more about saving energy around their home. The B tool is very important to uh, the sales organization, especially the inside sales organization, because when a customer calls in, our inside sales reps, they have the opportunity to help that customer analyze their bills. So by sharing the information on the usage of the appliance and showing where by using natural gas, they're able to save money as well as, um, in some instances, save energy. They're able to help that customer make that decision. So by the time the customer is transferred over to an outside sales rep, they've already made that decision. One of the benefits of using um, energy saving tools for our customers is that we have a direct avenue for communicating with them. Instead of customers having to call into our call centers, they now have an avenue where they can go online and learn more information about their bill. Right now we're really excited. We've had about 6,000 customers a month visiting the sites 
And since we went live in October, this obviously is a big percentage of our customers and we're really excited about it. I think that the, the tool is very helpful to the consumers. It gives them the opportunity to analyze their own energy use. But what is also great about the tool, this is not information that Piedmont has provided. This is information that's, that's provided by a third party. And so the information that is presented in the tool is not biased to um, a biased against electric utilities. So JD Powers is indicated among many other customer avenues that they want to hear about energy efficiency and they want Piedmont to be that trusted energy advisor and they want Piedmont to take the role of educating them. Piedmont kicked off its sustainability reporting initiative in 2010. The year after, in 2011, we announced our formal sustainability program, and in the same year, we published our very first uh, sustainability report. Our next scheduled uh, publishing of the reports, 2013, we're working hard on that right now. One of the early takeaways for me in working on the 2011 report was the fact that there were so many sustainability activities already underway here at Piedmont. So what we thought was that we were going to have to look hard and search for sustainability activities including the report. But the real challenge wasn't finding opportunities, the real challenge was figuring out what to include and what to exclude. Sustainability improves processes, it adds to our growth, it contributes to value for our customers and shareholders, and it improves and enhances our company's reputation. The company's investment and focus on sustainability as an organization not only helps our customers directly, it helps the communities that we serve in our three states in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Tennessee indirectly. Piedmont Natural Gas is celebrating Earth Week this week and today we've been out partnering with Charlotte Mecklenburg Stormwater Department marking their storm drains for them. So today we have a group of approximately 12 volunteers from Piedmont Natural Gas going out marking storm drains with placards and each one of the little placards states to the community do not dispense materials into these storm drains because it goes into our streams and waterways. We love to partner with our communities and give back and this environmental and sustainability effort is a great way for us to be able to do that. Right here, right now is our recycling extravaganza today. So we've um, got the word out we're out here today from 10 to 2 collecting people's used batteries, used light bulbs that you can't recycle easily, uh, used computers, printers, fax machines, and then also a shredding opportunity. So people can bring their documents at home that have personal information on them, bring them to us to be shred and then recycled. We're here today to talk about invasive species and the risks they pose to the Piedmont ecosystem. It's really good that Piedmont Natural Gas is, is sponsoring the talk today because without their help, uh, this, this kind of information would be difficult to get out to, to people who do work all day. They have things to do. So this is nice that Piedmont Natural Gas is willing to support an in-house lecture that describes the uh, invasive species and the risk. Piedmont Natural Gas, we all live here by a common set of values. One of those values is stewardship. We kicked off a new sustainability program last year with our first ever sustainability report and we are now looking for ways to live those values day in and day out, and so this is a big part of that.